What a scenic trail. Beautiful. Yeah. I'll tell you, Wichita Falls has got, got it all. Beautiful flowers, color, contrast, waterfalls, lakes, rock formations. This is a photographer's paradise. It truly is. Good morning everyone, Michael Scott, Scotty Man Photo, here at Wichita Mountains in uh, Oklahoma. And I came down to uh, capture an image of Mount Scott. Uh, actually, I came down to uh, spend the night if I can. I know there's a campground that's nearby, there's a few actually, so I'm going to look into those. Uh, the one I really wanted to stay at is Doris Campground. And uh, it's open, but uh, I'm tent camping, so uh, it's closed to tent camping right now. So anyway. Uh, to get that RV in the future. Uh, anyway, uh, hopefully I'll, I'll capture a, a couple images uh, during this trip. So, uh, it's, uh, predictions are pretty good for a sunset this evening. So, yeah, I'll uh, I'll see how that uh, turns out. But uh, anyway, hopefully uh, I can uh, find a campground somewhere. So maybe a couple more images this morning. All right, more to follow. Well, I'm a little past the golden hour, so. Uh, I didn't quite get the light uh, the way I wanted it. Really, I was what I was really hoping for was, uh, you know, kind of a, a peeking through the clouds and uh, and casting a light, uh, ideally on uh, on Mount Scott. So uh, we'll see how it comes out when I get back, uh, get the images back in Lightroom and and uh, get them processed. So maybe it'll be a keeper. Maybe it won't. Yeah, I, uh, I don't think I mentioned that this is a, uh, a wildlife refuge. So just driving through, I, I mean, there's there's wildlife everywhere. There are buffalo uh, just on the road occasionally. So pretty interesting place. my way to Doris campground it's uh it's close to tent camping like I mentioned but uh just gonna check it out if they ever open it back up at least I'll I'll have a few uh, ideas and camp spots in mind that, for a future reference yep no tents well I, I hope you can see that um but it is a uh, very very large buffalo wow yeah, that's a pretty fantastic sight. I, I, I think this is, these are probably RV sites though. Unfortunately, doesn't matter anyway, but uh, if they ever open up this tent camping, I'll be back. Yeah, you know, shooting places like this is, uh, 
it's difficult when you have to drive uh, a good distance so for me you know, it's about a three hour drive out here so you know I gotta leave pretty early um, yeah that's not ideal so uh, anyway um, you know that's why I like to uh, uh, pitch up tent stay the night it gives me an early start in the morning and uh, gives me an opportunity to scope out uh, my uh, images uh, or potential images before I actually you know roll in for the first time now that's the way to wake up in the morning at your campsite Uh, looking around for a campsite it looks pretty simple here um, this is um, well, I forget the name of it but uh, anyway um, I had to come down to the uh, town hall to pick up a permit so that I could camp in this area and uh, I'm gonna go set up here in a minute I'm gonna grab some lunch and uh, yeah oh it's a uh, yeah, medicine park all right see you in a bit Hey Kelly, so I thought I'd stop by and, and uh, grab something to eat. So what's your claim to fame here? The Red Bone Indian Taco. All right, and is that, I guess that's pretty popular with uh, everyone? It's the most popular. It's made with my authentic fry bread that I got from my grandmother's recipe and my homemade taco chili and then all your fixings on top of it is the best thing out of this world. So it's oh, pretty so I'm, popular. You're getting the real deal here, huh? Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, uh, how much is that? It's $10. Well, let's serve free that free. up then, all right? Absolutely, you all want right. everything on it? Sure do, thank all you. All right. Well, I'm at the campsite. It's Medicine Park Primitive Campground. Um, it's close to the road, but uh, it's not a bad area, and it's really close to uh, to the Wichita Mountains. So um, this is pretty pretty good location. And like I mentioned earlier, you know, I'd, I'd camp at Doors Campground, but oh, it's really nice out there. But uh, no tent camping. So anyway, I'm gonna get my tent set up here shortly. But uh, I think this will do. I got my hammock up, a couple of chairs. Yeah, yeah. I'm optimistic about this. It's not uh, not in the middle of the woods somewhere where I'd prefer, but uh, I think it'll do for tonight anyway. All right, let's see what Kelly was talking about. You know, there's something to be said about family recipes. Can't beat that. Wow, that thing's crazy. Mm, spicy. Mm, got some punch to it. It's pretty good. I'm hoping it's going to be a nice day, but uh, I'm going to definitely head out here in a minute and, and scour uh, the area here in Wichita Mountains and uh, kind of see what I can get into. self-inflating but it it doesn't fully inflate but it does a pretty good job if you leave it there for a bit and then come back 
Well, I'm going to relax a little bit before I head out. So uh, maybe uh, it's about 2 o'clock, maybe about 3, 4 o'clock I'll head out, scope out a couple of areas that I have in mind. And uh, right now I'm just relaxing. Oh, by the way, this is the Heineken 0, 0.0, the uh, drink of uh, the choice drink of landscape photographers that are on the go that have to drive. Well, I had a little break here at camp, so I'm getting ready to head up to um, Mount Scott and uh, just kind of take in the sights and line up any kind of compositions. I, if I understand everything correctly, I can uh, I can drive up from noon till sunset and and that's what I want to do but tomorrow morning if I want to go up there uh, I, I, it's I don't think anybody can drive up so I'd have to park down at the bottom and walk all the way to the top I'm not sure how far that is but uh, so I'm gonna go scope that out now and kind of see what I'd be in for if I if I see a composition I want to want to shoot in the morning uh, you know I'm gonna have to plan that so I can be there yeah when the lights right so anyway yeah more to follow. Well, this is the summit of Mount Scott. Yeah, it's pretty windy up here. I don't know if this is uh, this audio is coming through. Pretty spectacular views. Yeah, this is really, really amazing. Yeah, yeah I'd like to get up here at um, at sunrise and at sunset, but you have to be you have to be off uh, out of here by sunset. So I, I think I could hike up before sunrise and and maybe catch. Uh, yeah, I can catch. There's there's several compositions up here. There, that's one thing about uh, Mount Scott. There's no shortage of compositions, uh, all the way up um, and and from the summit too. Amazing. Yeah, I, I definitely think one of the challenges to to compositions um, on a top of a mountain like this is is really finding the subject and kind of zeroing in on that subject and and make a an aesthetically pleasing image. Um, I mean, you can. Uh, of course, capture uh, a sweeping vista. It's, it's always nice, but but uh, there's a lot of chaos here. So, and when there's a lot of chaos, there it's pulling your your eyes in many different directions, and it makes it hard, certainly difficult to focus in on on a composition. So, but uh, no doubt there are plenty of compositions to be had here. Just got to find them. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to try to capture anything from the summit. Um, not on this trip, more of a more of a scouting on the summit here. So I, I might uh, I might uh, saw a couple of possible images on the way up, uh, and I and it's probably maybe a quarter mile, uh, half mile hike to get to those areas uh, in the morning. So I might do that. I might do that uh, this evening too. So possible, but I don't think I'll try to line up anything from from the summit up here. Maybe uh, maybe I'll scout scout this out real good today, and maybe in the future. Well, heading to a couple other areas that uh, might have a few compositions in it. I want to scope out, so I'll check that out. I think eventually I'm going to wind up at the uh, the, the lost uh, picnic uh, area where I can head down to the 40-foot falls. And uh, I'm debating on whether to make that my image this evening or uh, or come back to Mount Scott and hike up just a, maybe a quarter mile uh, to an area that I, I saw which I really think is going to be nice. So, yeah, yeah, endless possibilities. I kind of lined up a composition right here. Yeah, my composition's really pretty simple, but it's going to be, it's going to be wide because I really want to capture all this color in the foreground. And uh, there's a distant little castle in the background that uh, you can see right there that I want to capture. So, yeah, I really like to compress that and bring it in, but but I really want that foreground, so we'll see.
you know, there's no doubt that I, I prefer the golden hours. And uh, I think that's for good reason. I mean, you know, it, landscape photography is all about the light. And so you can do some work with this in Photoshop, but, but truly, um, you know, Lightroom's pretty easy to throw in a couple radio filters and, and uh, you know, kind of add some, some light and warmth in certain areas. But, you know, I really try to capture these images as I saw them. And so, you know, I don't like to do very much editing. Uh, just kind of restore what I saw. But, uh, you know, Lightroom, Photoshop, they're just no match for um, capturing the light on the scene. So they're no match for Mother Nature. That's for sure. Uh, all right, head back to the car. Yeah, check my bag real good because I definitely don't want to be screaming like a little schoolgirl with a spider on my back. And uh, definitely... I would do that. All right, I had to grab some beef jerky before I left. But uh, anyway, I'm getting ready to hike the uh, the kite trail. That's right there. Gonna hike from here down to the 40 foot hole. And uh, not so sure, not as sure as I was about the water levels. I've seen some of the dams and they're barely overflowing, so. Might not be as spectacular as I'd hoped, but nevertheless, um, can always come back at the right time. So, I really hope they open the door as campground because it's so much closer. About a half hour drive from my campsite here. Door as campground, just minutes. And I definitely plan on coming back here. Beef jerky from Bucky's. It's the best. There are bison running everywhere. Buffalo, bison. I guess, you know, if you really want to get technical, they're bison. They were, uh, I guess, brought in about 100 years ago from, from Texas, I think. But uh, they're American bison. The... Uh, the buffalo are really uh, not native to America, so I think that's right. I'm no buffalo expert, but anyway, wow, nice place. Nice. You know, if you came here for no other reason, and just a bit of peace and quiet and solitude. I mean, even though it's a weekend and there are people here, you're still, you're still able to get out and enjoy some peace, quiet. You know, get a little bit of solitude for yourself. And, and you know, I think after the running the busy work schedules and just the everyday mundane life of work, we all owe it to ourselves to get out here a little bit great image or not no image or an award winner does it really matter well yeah I'd like to get that award winner but anyway oh man what a scenic trail beautiful yeah. I'll tell you, which of the falls has got, got it all. Beautiful flowers, color, contrast, waterfalls, lakes, rock formations. This is a photographer's paradise. It truly is. Last, the 40 foot hole. That's a nice waterfall. 
I think somewhere along this path, I, I think it was over there, actually right in there is a, a 40 foot trench, or, it, or it's 40 feet deep or so. so. Interesting. Yep, uh, evidently there's a way down there. Well, I'm shooting at f11 at uh, 24 millimeters, but uh, there's really no, the, the foreground is really close and the background is uh, really far. So it's kind of hard to focus uh, to the hyperfocal distance, although I could do it manually, but uh, it's, it's not the best way. Um, I'm going to take two exposures and brush in the foreground because I want the foreground sharp too. That's nice. I like it. I'm going to crop it just a little bit in in post. Yeah, I was really having trouble uh, kind of cropping out um, some of the image. I was thinking of a 5x4, so I shot it as a 5x4. That's my intentions uh, when I get it back into Lightroom. Um, so, yeah, and that kind of helped me cut out some distracting elements that I didn't want in there because I really wanted to, to kind of get the uh, uh, waterfall uh, kind of off-center and also while also getting the, uh, the tree kind of on the rule of thirds line, so at an intersecting corner. Anyway, uh, we'll see how that looks when I get back to uh, Lightroom. You know, another tip I would give you is uh, have extra lens caps in uh, situations like this, both rear and front, because uh, certainly when you're on a, on a high bank like this, I had one of these roll downhill one time, and uh, luckily I had a spare, so I always keep an extra in my bag. I probably could have got away with a three stop to smooth out the water, but uh, yeah, there was really no wind um, moving the bushes around and, and the trees, so I really wasn't worried about the extra length. Usually a couple of seconds, three, four, it's enough to do the trick. But uh, sometimes a little bit longer makes a difference. I got about a half hour to hike out of here. I gotta get rolling. I was thinking about my plan for tomorrow. I'm gonna get up uh, probably about 4:30, make some coffee. Might make some breakfast tomorrow. I really ate a light dinner tonight, so. But uh, anyway, uh, probably head down to Mount Scott uh, and capture. It's a small hike, less than a quarter mile. I have to park outside of the gate and kind of hike up. But uh, there's kind of a rock formation that's that kind of leads up towards the top of Mount Scott and I'm really, uh, I, I find that composition uh, uh, to be pretty good so I, I'm going to try to, I'll do the best I can to capture it anyway but that's my uh, my goal unless I change my mind and plan on something else but so I'm going to try that tomorrow. All right, well I guess that's it for now and I'll see you in the morning. fog on the mountaintop so kind of uh, I don't know if it's going to help or hurt my image that I had planned this morning so I suspect that's going to rise up a bit and lift off the mountain but it might actually work to my advantage so 
I'm actually going to go ahead and, and go through with my composition and, uh, and see how this comes out. I mean, uh, uh, the way I'm seeing it right now, kind of the leading rocks that I want to capture, I think it's going to lead up into the fog on top of the mountain. So depending on how, how low that fog is, which I really can't tell from this point, uh, we'll determine whether it's going to work or not. You know, I was thinking too, you know, there might be some other images of opportunity once I'm up there on the mountain. So kind of, uh, kind of looking out over the lake. So maybe that might pan out as well. It's hard to tell, but um, this actually looked uh, a lot better yesterday. My composition really had these rocks starting in the foreground and leading all the way up to the mountaintop, which is now covered by fog. So, um, yeah, I'm going to kind of wait around a little bit, might scout out some other images and uh, kind of wait this fog out and see if it lifts. Uh, it just needs to come up a little bit more and then I think the image might work. So, um, yeah, we'll see. You know, when you have a composition lined up and, and then, uh, you know, you've got this conceptualized image in your head and conditions change and uh, kind of throws everything off. You find yourself kind of frantically looking for other compositions, but the truth of the matter is, is it really doesn't matter. I mean, you know, if there's an image of opportunity, I'll, I'll try to get, grab it, but uh, you know, I came here to shoot this image. So I think, uh, you know, patience is key. I'll, I'll wait around. But uh, while I'm waiting around, I'll scout around for other images. But uh, yeah, I guess the point is, is that no sense worrying about it. You know, you can always come back. So, but uh, you know, like I mentioned earlier, this being three hours away from home makes it difficult to get here in the conditions that you need. So sometimes you just have to make the best out of the conditions that you have. Kind of got a, uh, a leading line through the water as it snakes around into the mountaintop. Interesting. Need a little more of that light. Well, the, um, the leading lines are nice. The kind of the snaking of the water, the balance of the mountaintops. I don't like the dead space on, on top. Uh, and it's best to, if you, if you have situations like that, to to kind of get as much out of the image as you can, you know, kind of uh, capture what you like, you know, capture the areas that you, you really want to capture, so not the dead space. But I think in post-processing, I can take that out. I still got some time to wait um, before I try my other image, but uh, I really like this, this is okay, and I'm gonna wait for, uh, I'm gonna wait for the light, see if what it does, it comes in a little bit more, and maybe, uh, maybe cast some more light down on the valley, and uh, maybe uh, light up the water, kind of warm up this area right here would be nice. So, we'll see what that does. Yeah, still got some time to go on the mountaintop there. I think there's gonna be a break in the clouds. I'm waiting for this big patch right here to kind of move over and and reveal the clear skies and and get some of that warm light down in that valley just a few more seconds Returning to my original composition site, oh, really, I would like to shoot this, but maybe later. Just still too much fog right here covering Mount Scott, so I'll have to save this for another time. 
I think this might really work. I like the leading edge of the rocks and, it, and when you can really see it, it kind of leads up to the top of the mountain. And I think that uh, a, a sky is gonna have to, uh, gonna have to have a background, better sky on this. So another time. All right, I'm heading to the car. Uh, hey, if you liked today's video, make sure you like and uh, hit that like button and uh, subscribe for future videos. And uh, also leave me a comment. And if I don't see you down the road, I'm sure I'll see you on the trail sometime.